distinguished guest, guests, ladies and gentlemen, announcing the arrival of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Edgar Chagolongo. invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the guard commander has just invited uh, His Excellency the President to inspect the guard of honor mounted in his honor.
ça doit être un des canaux verts, à des petits effets du gardement. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the President, has just finished inspecting the Guard of Honor that was mounted in his honor. He is now walking to the saluting dive to receive a presidential salute.
for the preservation of national peace and security. We come before thee, O God, from whence our help comes. We acknowledge that in you and by your guidance in all these years, Zambia has been a blessed nation. We have seen unity, productivity, and unprecedented development. We are thus determined in the face of any form of hardship to overcome and as a defense force we pledge to preserve the sovereignty and to defend the territorial integrity of the Republic of Zambia and also to contribute to the maintenance of world peace. Now, O oh Lord, as we continue with the commemoration of this special day, we ask you, mighty God, that you may bless us. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Your Excellency, the President, of the Republic of Zambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Defence Force, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, the Patriotic Front Secretary-General, Mr. Davis Mwila, 
the Secretary to Cabinet, Dr. Simon Mizi, the Deputy Secretary to Cabinet, Mr. Patrick Kangwa, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Defense, Dr. Felix Spiri, and other Permanent Secretaries present here with us, Service Chief, the Attorney General, Mr. Likando Kalaloka, State Council, the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, Mr. Michael Msonda, State Council, Deputy Service Chief, members of the Diplomatic Group, former Service Chiefs present with us here, senior government officials, members of the general staff, senior officers, officers warrant officers, junior and uncommissioned officers, the press, may I simply say, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor to warmly welcome you all to the 45th Defense Force Day commemoration under the theme, Preservation of National Peace and Security through Patriotism and Loyalty. This event is commemorated annually on 13th June. On this day, we remember the day the command of the three services, namely Zambia Army, Zambia Air Force, and Zambia National Service, became under one command as a unified command and was called the Zambia National Defense Force in the good year 1976. It must be noted that we later related to our separate commands, but we continue to coexist and commemorate this day. This year, we are privileged to be graced by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Edgar Chagwalongu. Your Excellency, we are grateful. I am Major Melody Sombo Sisi, privileged to be the Director of Programs for this auspicious event. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to quickly run through the remaining program of events this morning. Shortly, we will be witnessing a march pass of personnel, drive pass of equipment, as well as a fly pass. Thereafter, we will have speeches. After the speeches, His Excellency will confer medals on the Defense Chiefs and the Deputy Defense Chiefs. We will then have a closing prayer and the national anthem, and there we will end our program here at the Freedom Statue, and His Excellency will proceed to Zaf Chamber Valley to join the men and women in uniform for a luncheon. Your Excellency, with high morale, we now present to you your troops as they march past, a drive past, and a fly past. Normally, when there's um, such a mass, a march pass, drive pass, as well as a fly pass, we expect um, His Excellency to uh, be outstanding and uh, receive full salute. But uh, for today, due to the low profession, His Excellency will take his seat. Thank you. And all of us will remain seated. Thank you. Okay. 
Your Excellency, as the troops will be marching past as well as the equipment riding past, we'll have uh, running commentaries from the three services and um, to run us through the equipment for Zambia Army, we have Captain Musonda Barbara, I beg your pardon, we have Captain Barbara Musonda to run us through the equipment as well as the fly pass for the Zambia Air Force. We have Major Mandanji and to run us through the commentary for Zambia National Service, we have Captain Kanda. Thank you. 
good thing assessed by the Tonan M. Chiluva, Captain B. Kunda, and the Tonan C. Mujio. And last but not the least, Your Excellency, is Delta Company being commanded by Captain C. N. Mateka, who is being assisted by Lieutenant Y. Kiri, Captain A. Musenge, and Lieutenant C. Aguanta. Your Excellency, we can now transition into the drive pack of equipment from the three services again, starting with the Zambia Army and then the Zambia Air Force and the, the Zambia National Service. Right now, in front of you, Your Excellency, is equipment from the Zambia Army Military Police. These are personnel that are trained and skilled for traffic control, for VVIP and VIP protection, as well as VVIP and VIP escort. Your Excellency, about to overfly the solution bars at this time, coming once again from the eastern direction, in the three aircraft formation made by the MA-60. Escorted with you with my two L-15 fighter aircraft. <laughs> Correction, your Excellency, two K-8 aircraft. Your Excellency, the military police from the Zambia Army also maintain law and order, prevent and investigate crime within the Army, and operate confinement facilities. They also engage in combat and infantry when required. Your Excellency, approaching is now equipment from the Zambia Army Armored Corps. Now, the Armored Fighting Vehicles, or AFV, as we commonly refer to them, are armed combat vehicles protected by armor. With its, co with its combination of heavy guns, Mobility and protection, armor provides mobile firepower support during operations for the army to punch through the enemy defense. They further combine operational mobility with offensive and defensive capabilities. Your Excellency, the vehicles approaching now are known as BRDM Mark II. The BRDM Mark II has a crew of four members. That is a driver, a co-driver, commander, and gunner. The armor on the vehicle protects fully against small arm fire and artillery shell clinton, which is intended to be used for fire support. Your Excellency, that is the BRDM Mark II that is driving past the Sanusian Giant and we may appreciate that. The armored equipment, the BRDM Mark II armored equipment is also amphibian. We will continue to see the drive path of the BRDM Mark II belonging to the Zambia Army Armored Corps.
address a bond to the Thai General King Dyer, Your Excellency. The Thai Guard belong to the Special Forces of the Zambia Army, or the Commandos, as we commonly call them. The Thai Guard is an armored personnel carrier. The armored personnel carrier configuration is designed to transport troops to the battlefield with enhanced armor protection. The Thai Guard is a multi purpose air terrain infantry mobility vehicle. It can also be configured for various roles such as command force, law enforcement, riot control, and ambulance. The Tiger carries a section of special forces 